Hello and welcome back to FunLabs Design Studio. Today I'm going to be talking about vector outlining your sketches. So let's go. Alright, so we have these two characters that I did. I just sketched them up. These were the roughs. Use a blue pencil. Sketch. Sketchy. Sketch sketch. Yeah. That's what I use. But what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you a quick trick on how to outline these and you'll see that they're similar to a vector as where you can edit them which is really cool. You might have heard about this before in some other tutorials. But what I'm going to do is just quickly show you. You can do this with um, a mouse or you can do this with your tablet and you can just press enter and then it will work that way okay terrific and then you can move it around similar to what you would with a vector based program it's pretty cool easy what I like to do though with these is I'm going to round it so I'm going to go back to here and then that will bring me back to these options here so I'm going to pick the line work and then you'll see down here what you can do and adjust the different thickness line thicknesses you can click this little dot 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 and then you can change them to rounded and then click off and you'll see they'll be rounded so just some quick simple simple editing very easy to do this is the edit shapes tool here that's what it's called because I guess this is technically kind of a shape so yeah it's not a full vector program like illustrator or any of those but it does the job for quickly getting your work it's not that traced and I really like clean line work I'm the type that like I love I love that aesthetic I don't like not doing line work yeah. <laughs> so there we go So that's one, and that will, once you automatically connect it, the line will work. You can go to here, hold, you click and hold, and let go, and then you can go down here, click and hold, and it will move it, maneuver, and then you go to there, and it will add it, so once it's connected. But if it's not connected, what you can do is, so we'll just do this one here, Sussy baka. like that, and then, so it's not connected, and then you just press enter, and there you go, and then you select your shape editor tool and you can maneuver it around the way you want just like that and you use your anchors like that done and done and then you have to go back to here in order to adjust how you want your brushes to be so these brushes here need adjusted so what I'm going to do it's at a four and then I'll just round it and there you go it's just quickly done there you go. You go along and do all that, and then you'll have some nice clean line work. I, get a lot I also, lot. I'll close this off. I also painted this one just with regular to show you. See, it's really kind of jaggedy and sloppy. This was done with tablet. And it's still clean from far away. It's still clean, but it has that, like, messy look, which I'm, I'm not too keen on. And I like to be able to fully edit my characters. So when I click on there, now you can see. And then you can see the difference a little bit. It's kind of sloppy. It's sloppier than this, in my opinion. But, yeah. I don't like that one. So I'm going to stick with this one. And I think these were a 5. That is But I'm not 100% sure. Let me just check what these ones were. These are a 4, I think. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Yeah, that's a 4. Certainly. And these are a 5. So what I might do is just change them all to a 5, but I might just leave them at a 4 and try and just sample around. You can quickly edit them. It makes it a lot easier to use than any other raster type file. Easily manipulate, easily use and alter, which is what I like to be able to do for these because then what you can do is you can on top of this layer, a new vector layer. So you add a new vector layer on top and then you can copy all your parts from this one. 
copy and then paste it onto uh, paste onto that layer so then when you close that there it is and then you'll have these so then you can have the vest arm you can do it so it's the arm the legs the feet whatever you're gonna move and you can have them each on their own layer so you can just be like vest and there you go you have the vest now it's the vest and you do another vector layer and it'll be the hand the two hands so you have your left hand your right hand blah 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 you can see those in other tutorials out there but I just wanted to quickly show you this one alright have a good one